this is one of our designs, it's the day clock. Um, and it's a time orientation item for people who have trouble with short term memory and time orientation. The reason it's needed is some people, as you know, if you have some forms of dementia, you can struggle to know whether it's day or night, even if it's dark or light outside. There's not enough of a cue for some people. And it can be the reason some people go out at night. Um, it's not because they've made some mysterious decision to go shopping in the middle of the night. It's simply they don't realise it's the wrong time and they're trying to go shopping in the day. So the only piece of information they're missing is what day of the week it is and what part of the day it is. The information that we display on the clock is the four different parts of the day, so morning, afternoon, evening and night, and we do that for all of the days of the week. The changeover between night and morning happens at 7am, and that's very deliberate in the design. If we changed over to morning at midnight, which technically it does do, we'd have people getting out of bed at 2am being told that it's morning. We actually want to enable people to make sensible decisions, appropriate decisions, about how to go about their day as normal. If things happen on a Tuesday morning or on a Friday evening. That's how people plan their lives. And what we're doing is trying to encourage people to uh, be able to make their own decisions about how to use their day and make appropriate decisions that makes them be able to do things in the same way that other people can. So it's enabling them to do what they would do before even though they've lost this particular skill. And because this can have a huge impact in the confidence of the person about what time of day it is, it can actually have a big impact on carers as well, because carers may find, and certainly some of our customers have found, that they're no longer receiving lots of phone calls overnight saying, why aren't you here, what day is it, uh, why haven't you come to visit me when it's four o'clock in the morning. Now when you buy one of these, it will come out of the box, uh, it's already programmed with the timing, and you can plug it straight into the mains and it will be working and it will be set to the right time and date for you already. Most button presses at random by anyone along here are going to have no effect at all on the display and any that do have a small effect it will just default back to just being an ordinary day clock so it's very very unlikely that someone even if they do press all of these buttons is going to mess up the display which is a fantastically useful feature because people like to press buttons and that's fine. Um, the other thing that we can do using these buttons is switch the blue lighting on and off if people either choose to have or not have the blue lighting effect. Now if someone chooses to have this in their home, uh, a person with memory problems and time orientation problems can really benefit from this because it provides clear unambiguous information. It's only got the information that's needed. Um, people learn to trust the information on this which is really exciting. We didn't know that before we designed it and we found that people actually trust the information and it does make a difference to them, even when darkness and light aren't a strong enough cue to help them with day and night. They do believe in this. Mm -hmm.